I'm a gamer just like you guys. And on top of that, I'm a content creator. I spend most of my time editing videos and everything. And then when I can, maybe play a game or two. But there's nothing worse than sitting down in a chair for hours and your butt hurts. And your whole body hurts for that matter. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to build the Cougar Armor Pro gaming chair. Check it out. I create videos like this all the time on building chairs, building computers, upgrading computers, playing games and all that good stuff. So make sure you click like, subscribe and that little bell notification. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build the Cougar Armor Pro gaming chair. All right, so I have the instructions here, just if anything to help me out as well, but this video is to help you guys move along a little bit quicker. Now, before we start anything, you should take an inventory of all the parts. So first off, you're going to want to make sure you have the back of the chair we have right over here. Then you want to make sure you have the seat. We have that over here. You want to make sure you have two of these guys. These are going to be the plastic covers that go right over here on the side of the chair. Then we're going to want to make sure we have two armrests, which we have right down here. We're also going to want to make sure we have this piece right down here that joins the back to the chair. Or actually, I'm sorry, that helps tilt the chair and where the piston actually goes into. We're going to want to make sure we have the piston, which is right here. We're going to want to make sure we have the five star base down here. All five casters, the two caps, the two screws, and the Allen wrench that doubles as a Phillips screwdriver head. Okay, so first off, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to use this Phillips to take off the side pieces here on the back of the chair. We're going to go ahead and quickly connect the back to here. You can easily do it with your fingertips. I'll just go ahead and do it that way. You might as well take off all four. It'll be a lot easier. Just put them aside so you don't lose them. And I didn't put my microphone on on purpose because it's going to be kind of difficult to have that cable dangling across. Hopefully the echo is not too horrible. Okay, now that we have this, I'm going to want to go ahead, just put that right down here, slide it into both pieces of metal, line up the holes. And just screw it in just for a pint of hole. Get the threading in. And you're going to want to screw it in maybe halfway, not completely all the way. Because then that will make it very difficult for you to screw in the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Okay, and now that both sides are in there, now you can go ahead and screw in all, all four tightly. All right, now that that's in, let's move in to step two. Step two is putting on these side pieces here. 
For that, we're going to need these two guys. The screws. So we're just gonna go ahead, line that up right over here. And then use the Phillips head side. Make sure you get that in there nice and tight. And then this piece down here, I'll show you on the other side in one second. See, it's gonna snap in, but I'm gonna show you on the other side a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and drop this screw right in here, and then we just get the Phillips head to just line it up and stick it out through here a little bit. You're gonna to want to screw it up a little bit, that way you don't have to hold it in place. Now we're going to match it up with this hole here, and then a good way to guide us is, you'll see there's a little piece right over here, we're going to snap that right into here. Okay, and then with that in place, screw that right in here. All right, so we're done there. Now let's move on to step number three. Okay, so step number three is going to be tying these armrests to the bottom of the chair. So we're just going to go ahead and flip this guy over. We can start with the first one here. So then we're going to unscrew these three and these three down here. Okay, now with those undone, we're going to go ahead and look for the left of the chair. This guy right down here. We're just going to go ahead and drop it right here. Drop it right here and now we'll just grab those three screws and screw them in pilot holes just like we did before. And screw them in. Now that we have all three in there nice and tight. And then you can also adjust how close or how far just by sliding them up or down or in and out. But for now I'm just going to put them all the way out. Now, we'll just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm not going to record it because it's going to take too long, but I'll just go ahead and do that. All right, so once we're done with that, we move on to step number four. Step number four is going to be just grabbing the base, putting all the casters in place, just pop them in the hole, push down a little bit, you're going to need to use a little force, not a ton. Okay, so now we have all four casters in there. Now we're going to go ahead, drop this guy right in place. Literally, that's all you do. And then put that in place. Now, part of step three that I did forget to put in there was attaching this guy. Easy enough step though. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll go ahead and turn this around. 
Now we're going to unscrew these four. Okay, and now we're gonna put this right over here. Now it tells you right here, well, actually it just tells you right over here that it's the front. So we're just gonna go ahead, put in one screw there. Okay, and now the other two should be very simple. Okay, now once they're in there, just with your fingertips, actually you might want to put them more with your fingertips, just tighten all four as much as you can with your fingertips. Okay, and now tighten this one up here, then this one down here, then this one up here, and then this one down there. The little crisscross pattern. Okay, I did forget to put on the caps, but we're gonna skip that just for right now because we have the easiest step, putting the chair on top of the base. And the most fulfilling step, letting, know, letting you know that you're done. All right, nice and easy, right? Now, before we see how comfy it is, forgot we gotta put that guy in place. And that one too. We're done. Now let's try it out. All right, so this is the first time I sat in it. It's firm. Now, you can see here, the seat is ready to weigh, to carry up to 264 pounds. I'm 260. I'm also five foot six. So it's carrying me nicely. Again, it is firm. I may have to get used to it. It's not cushy. Cushy is not always a good thing because it could mean it's just gonna fade away and it's not gonna be comfortable at all. This is said to recline 180 degrees. Let's see. Whoa. Huh. Or maybe it just has to be tightened here. That was a little scary. Okay. Let's try that again. Still going back. I feel like it's gonna fall. Maybe that's normal. Let's see. Okay, that is normal. Maybe just tighten it some more. Okay, so that is normal. So I would never do this aside from on this recording. scary. Move this all the way back. <laughs> so it can recline all the way back. Now what the reason it's rocking is because you can rock it back and forward. Now it feels a little too tight to do that. Maybe loosen it up some. Might have to play with that a little bit, but she slides nicely also. Wood floor. 
as of right now, I like it. It just feels really tight. I don't typically use the lower lumbar support. So I'm just gonna go ahead and myself take that out. It has nothing to do with this chair. Just in general, I don't use it. See, it comes off really easy. Just two straps. Much better. Okay, I like that much better without that lower lumbar. Feels like it puts you up too far forward. And you can't use the neck breast. Maybe it's just me, but anyway, I'm gonna be doing some more testing on this, so definitely stay tuned here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And anyway, Iggy out for now. See you guys.